Hey guys, Dan in Cartech 710 here. Just got back from a business trip from Indiana, Missouri last night. I did get to go to a St. Louis uh, and catch a Cardinals Marlins game. Fantastic stadium. I've always wanted to watch a game there. Paul Goldschmidt hit a home run to win the game in the 11th inning. And for a Wednesday night, the attendance, uh, the crowd was actually really great. I just wish the Mariners could draw a crowd like that on a weekday. But of course, they'd have to play better. I think they're uh, 18 and a half games now um, behind Houston. So, oh well, like uh, Mariners fans always get used to saying next year. But our hotel was actually right across the street from the um, Bush Stadium. And it had photos of uh, paying homage to like Stan the Man all over the place, Stan Musial. So I was really excited to see that. And uh, when I got home, I had some pickups waiting for me that I'm uh, waiting to get delivered. And to start off, 2017 Topps Heritage uh, Pete Alonzo uh, autograph and a PSA 10. I really like the 2017 Topps Heritage since it looks like a 68 Topps, and this is a relatively inexpensive way to get an autograph card. Going, staying with Pete Alonzo, this is the 2016 uh, Bowman Chrome Blue Refractor in a PSA 10. And this is numbered number 4 out of 150. He's having himself a pretty great season. And, you know, one of my resolutions was to stay away from prospect cards, but uh, there seems to be quite a bit of buzz about this kid here, Wander Franco. It's the Bowman Chrome Blue Refractor, numbered 137 out of 150. Pretty thick too, but uh, this card will be going to PSA at some point. I looked it over pretty good. And uh, I think I paid about 160 bucks for this raw. So, like I said, you know, it's not an autograph card. It's, it's a refract, uh, you know, blue refractor, but still going to vintage again. This is 71 Tops Steve Garvey rookie and a PSA 8. Uh, I used to go to Dodger games with my grandfather when Steve Garvey, Ron Say, and some pitcher named Fernando Valenzuela uh, used to play. And I've been trying to get a PSA 8 and a 71 Tops for a while, uh, just any 71 Tops and a PSA 8. But I kept on losing auctions on like Burt Blyleven rookies, uh, Frank Robinson, Reggie Jackson, <laughs> Roberto Clemente. And I was just getting tired of it, so I uh, was just kind of shopping around for 71 Tops and PSA 8. And um, on PWCC, I actually saw the uh, Steve Garvey rookie, which really looked good, and a PSA 8, really well centered. In fact, they, they rated it as their A rating, which is supposed to be the top 30% of, of quality of cards. But uh, I'm not buying anything from PWCC, so as tempting as it was. And um, even then, PWCC actually got a sales price. I kept an eye on it, and it sold for like 360 bucks. And I got this one for about $300 from a different seller. Um, it's a little off-center left to right, but still, you know, with the 71 tops, as many of you know, it's the black chipping that's really sensitive, like this uh, little white speck here on this corner here on the bottom left. Um, just to get it in high grade itself is really tough, so I'm pretty happy. And like I said, for 300 bucks versus 360 plus, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm not buying anything from PWCC at the moment, so... Probably never will again. And my last card is the 2010 Bowman Chrome Christian Yelich Refractor and a PSA 9. Autograph Refractor and a PSA 9. And uh, shout out to Scotty uh, Scott from Scotty Tradition, who's a Brewers fan. Uh, I don't buy many Bowman autos, if you guys ever notice. Uh, just the, rook, the prospect card the autographs are just so expensive. I normally uh, get a rookie's, like, Topps rookie or... If I do get their prospect cards, uh, like these, like the Bowman Chromes, I just get like the, you know, a limited refractor with a, that's numbered. In the case of these, these are both numbered to uh, 150. Um, like I said, just because it's too expensive. So, but in the case of Christian Yelich, I actually consider him to be an actual, like, investment. You know, he's just a really great player. Um, Scott kind of commented on... One of my other videos that uh, I seem to be picking up a lot of, of Cody Bellinger's instead of uh, Christian Yelich. And, and the reason why I was doing it, is, as I told him, is just because that the Bellinger's more affordable. I, I do like Yelich, obviously. Uh, he's hitting lights out, and I personally don't care whether he hits better at home versus on the road. 
you know, uh, Nolan Arenado gets the same kind of flack for hitting better at home at uh, Coors Field than he does on the road. But in the end, the, the you know, end of the career, the numbers just speak for themselves, in my opinion. So, and uh, speaking of waiting for me when I get home, I got Fillington's Brick Explosion Box version 6 waiting for me, which will be in a separate video coming up soon. And... Staying along with the waiting day at home, uh, waiting for me at home besides my wife, my number one pickup is for my birthday. She actually got me a new MacBook Pro laptop. So, uh, you know, it's basically my early birthday present. So hopefully I'll be able to learn to edit videos. I know Macs have great uh, video editing software, so I'm pretty excited about that. Jeremy from Base1986 is a big Mac user, so I'll probably be bugging him for, for help, I'm sure. Um, but, you know, you know, stay tuned, and uh, I'll be posting a video on my Brick Explosion Box rip. And if uh, you guys like videos like this, then please subscribe to my channel. And in the meantime, guys, thanks for watching.